Hi friends and welcome back. Welcome to the vlog. Um, I'm so excited to have you here with me today. Um, just grabbing a moment really quickly during a kind of hectic day for me um, because I'm it's like only 11 right now and I have to be out the door in 30 minutes. So we're going to see how this goes. Um, so first up, I am heading, I went to a spin class this morning. As you guys saw, I usually don't go to like a 7.15 a.m. class, but I skipped my class on Sunday and I'm like, and I didn't go, I was like, oh, I'm going to go on Monday. Didn't go on Monday. Didn't go yesterday. So today was the day I was like determined that you were going to spin class by Wednesday so I just knocked it out of the park um first thing in the morning because I don't really have evenings available for the rest of the week um so I did that showered came home I've done a face mask I just need to finish putting like moisturizer on my face a little bit um getting ready for the day I just finished filming a video which you guys are going to see it might already be posted um but I just finished filming like my fall book wrap up I cleaned my entire kitchen I have been like go 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 since I've got up um but like I said I only have 30 minutes before I need to get out of the door um so I'm gonna do makeup really quickly and then um do that and take you guys along with my day I have a meeting to go to um for a client and then I also have to going I picked up a shift at the store kind of like right after that um for a cute little like four hours um, because I didn't feel like coming back home in between because I'm actually going to an event at the public library, um, the Toronto Public Library, the reference library has like this event venue and Casey McQuiston, who I absolutely love their books, is in Toronto for a book signing um, and to talk about their latest novel, The Pairing. Um, so I actually need to run to Indigo as well at some point today to actually pick up a copy of the pairing or red white and royal blue i don't have my copy here with me it is fully in packed in a box in my storage unit um or at least i don't think i have my copy of red white and royal blue here with me i forgot to check and i don't have time to check right now so i'm gonna see if i can maybe pick up the collector's edition of red white and royal blue because it has a bonus chapter in it get her to get them sorry to uh sign that and go from there so we shall see how the day plays out wish me luck fingers and toes crossed that I managed to accomplish everything that I want to today um but yeah go team I will talk to you guys in a little bit Okay, so I went to my meeting and we discussed all of the things and then I felt like I was in a mad dash to get to work on time because, you know, I'm dressed nicely here, but I also needed to change my clothes. And I also got a call from Uber because there's no way I could rely on the bus to get me there on time. And I truly have to say, every time I get a Tesla, my heart drops because I end up feeling so nauseous and so sick in the back of a Tesla every single time. I don't know if it has to do with like that roof, that huge sun panel, or just the way that they drive on the road, but I always feel like I am going to lose the contents of my stomach, and I am praying so deeply that I do not, because I don't want to get hit with a cleaning fee. But I made it to work, 
work was okay um just a quick little four hours and then i headed over to the bookstore to pick up casey mcquiston's red white and royal blue i mentioned this before but i do have um kind of like a regular copy of it but i specifically wanted to get the collector's edition um to get it signed i just don't know where my other copy is and i didn't want like two of the same and then I grabbed a really quick matcha because I knew that I was in desperate need of something to kind of rejuvenate myself for a little bit, a cute little treat and a little snack as well. And then I just headed over to the reference library. Uh, so I actually have not spent a lot of time going to the Toronto reference library, um, but they do have this huge like event spaces in it. It's this beautiful, beautiful library. I need to actually stop in and see what exactly they have in this library because I feel like it's more than just like your run of the mill library. And I was in line by like 5.40 for the rush line for this event um, that they were doing pre-show, which is to make your own tote bag. And all the tickets had sold out ahead of time. And they said that if you were there, they were gonna run, run a rush line. If there was space, they would let people in. And you know, the universe had my back and I was in early to go do this event uh, which was really nice so I got to make my own tote bag I did kind of like a camera some it's like travel themed um, I have tickets Paris Barcelona London um, a camera croissant and coffee all things that you know I love um, and then it was time for Casey McQuiston to talk about their book which was absolutely amazing weeks on end and also the only other person the only other tether to who you are back home is this person who you have such a complicated relationship with and how do you become each other's like kind of life raft in this experience but also like partner in crime mm -hmm. um and like the liminal spaces of mm -hmm. of like these little fleeting moments of city to city and person to person lover to lover i think um it's kind of where this book lives mm -hmm. um, and where like all of the the muchness of it is allowed to flourish and I find that really exciting to like you know kind of splash around it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um speaking of the muchness after the talk, um, I got into this very, very long line to get my book signed. The downside of being near the front is that you are near the back of the line um, when it comes to the book signing, but that's okay. I think I was out in like an hour, essentially, um, but essentially I had actually met this person who I'm talking to right now in line while I was waiting uh, to get into the pre-show event and we ended up kind of like sitting together and chatting throughout. So thank you so much to Emily who I met in line for the footage that you guys are about to see. But yeah, she uh, got this a video of me talking to Casey. Um, I actually don't even remember a word of what I said to her here. I think I completely blanked out, but it definitely was. Thank you so much for writing this book. I love it. it was definitely there. Um, and it was just such a great moment. So after that, I essentially just went home. Um, I was going to take public transit home, but I was exhausted. And it was like 930 at night. And I was like, you know what, we're just going to take an Uber home get home quickly I ordered a burger on the way um, and then I had a really quick chat with a friend about doing things alone and how great it is to put yourself out there and not use like not having someone to go with as a reason why you do not do things um, doing it along is a skill it can be uncomfortable at first but it is definitely something that I find a lot of value in um, sometimes I enjoy myself more when I do things by myself to be totally honest I'm not thinking about someone else as selfish as that sounds but essentially don't be afraid to put yourself out there if you take anything from this video it's just like go do the things that you want to do um, and enjoy them because that's where the magic is Okay, hi friends. I just am getting back home now. It's like 9.42. I ordered a burger. It's on its way to my place. 
but I met Casey McQuiston. I got the chance to talk to her. The author talk was so amazing, and I just loved every single moment of it. Like, it was so good.